My name is Larry Brewster. I am the founding prayer partner of CEO Prayer Ministries. We are a ministry that is focused on private one-on-one -on -one prayer with CEOs of Fortune 1000 companies, both current and former CEOs. Our objective is to work one-on-one -on -one with you in order to establish a prayer life with the Lord Jesus Christ that will start to emphasize prayer for your personal business and obviously spiritual life. And I just want to say that those of you who are not CEOs but who are watching this video are also very important to me. You may be an executive assistant of a CEO. You may be the spouse of a CEO, but you know what is going on in his or her life with respect to gaps, with respect to issues, with respect to needs. So I thank you for joining as well. Well, you know, I can relate to this topic of prayer uh, or the lack thereof, particularly when you were in the hustle and bustle of being on the fast track. As a graduate from Harvard College and Harvard Business School with recognition. I also had an opportunity to be the CEO of a company that was approaching nine figures. And it was clear to me and obviously to the Lord that that was not for me. And he redirected my life and I feel blessed by that. What I really want to focus here is to take note of the challenges that you may be facing in your life that are reflecting a gap. You feel a gap in your life. You feel a set of needs. You feel a set of desires that are not being met. You feel a certain uncompleteness. The Bible says that the Lord has a plan for us. He has a plan to prosper us. And I'm not speaking from a financial point of view. He has a plan that does not harm us, but it engages us in strengthening our relationship with him. So if you're feeling some level of harm in your life or lack of peace, that is not of God. You may not feel as though that that plan has been in place for you. And that may manifest itself in the fact that you are having an affair outside of your marriage. You may have an addiction, an addiction to alcohol, an addiction to drugs, to smoking. Maybe you have an addiction to pornography. Or possibly, maybe you've been leading a double life. Maybe you are homosexual and no one but you in your family or surrounding friends is aware of this. You've had a burden on your shoulder for decades. And now you recognize, possibly through your having taken the time to just listen and watch this video is that possibly the Lord is trying to reach you in ways that he's not been able to reach you in the past. When I speak about prayer, I'm talking about praying on topics that are associated with several categories of your life. Let's say in the business area, imagine that you may have a decision whether or not to close that plant in Akron, Ohio, or whether or not to take your business and go into the European market or the Asian market. Maybe you have a key customer that you may be looking at to what extent you can retain that customer because of some problems. The bottom line is, is that there are many areas within your business life where prayer could be quite effective, could produce significant fruit. Now, clearly in your personal life, you may be struggling. Maybe you have some financial issues that haven't been addressed. We clearly have had some challenging circumstances in the last several weeks that have put many of us in a very different place financially than we were previous to that. We also might have health issues that you're struggling with. There could be circumstances in your family with respect to relationships between you and your children, between you and your spouse. Maybe you have health issues or caring issues related to your, uh, to, to your parents. These are all topics that we will pray about. Most importantly is your spiritual life. We need to pray that you know 
the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart. We need to pray for your relationship with him. We need to pray for you to have a desire to study the Bible, to pray, as well as to fellowship with other Christians. Now, you may be a believer, and as a result, you understand the power of prayer and having a prayer warrior with you to be able to assist in intercessory or corporate prayer. But at the same time, you may not be. You may be a non-believer, or you may have just been on the periphery, not really sure what is true and what's not true. Well, we're gonna address that one-on-one, -on -one, whether it be in your office, whether it be an hour, whether it be via phone, whether it be a retreat. There are various models that I've outlined in the letter to the CEO section of the website. So please click on that and you'll get a lot more detail with respect to how we can actually engage each other. So the question is, now, where do we go? What can happen next? Well, what can happen next is if you were to research, review the Contact Us part of this website, you'll have the information via email as well as phone that you can utilize in order to reach me. I personally will be your prayer partner. There's no one else that we're going to be bringing to the fore at this point but me to be your prayer partner. And I'll work with you diligently. Let me say this. There is a plan for you that the Lord has, and that's one of the reasons why that he has brought me into your life on this very day. And I'd like to pray as we close. Father God, I come today seeking your help, seeking your power to be applied to those individuals who've taken the time to watch this video today. Lord, I ask that you will put in their hearts a desire to meditate. And then from that meditation, the Holy Spirit will convict them to make a move, to make a change, to make a transformation. So in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask, Lord, that you will put a desire in their heart to move from one point to another in a way that they've never done before. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to spend it with me today.